Every country comes with its own traditions and a way to care for their young. But a standard of care in feeding the world's most at-risk babies does not exist. The Nifty Cup hopes to change that. It all began during a trip to Africa in 2007 with a program called PACT where Seattle Children's Dr. Michael Cunningham and his team trained the local surgeons on how to fix cleft palates, a birth defect where the roof of the mouth hasn't fused together to seal off the nose. But on our very first trip there, we realized that we had ignored something that was very obvious. We first met Dr. Cunningham in 2013 during the design phase of the Nifty Cup. He told us then what they had hoped to create. We needed to come up with a way that we could use a, some kind of a modified cup system that would be useful to them and long-lasting long and be able to be uh, cleaned and, and used probably for a, the first year of life. After years of work and research, the Nifty Cup was perfected. Nifty stands for Neonatal Intuitive Feeding Technology. It's a soft silicon bowl with a spout and reservoir that prevents spillage and allows the infant to control the pace of feeding. Christy McKinney, investigator at Seattle Children's Research Institute, who spearheaded the Nifty Cup project with Cunningham, says research found that standard cups spilled about a third of the milk during a feed. You can imagine if a mom is hand expressing her breast milk to lose one third of every single feed when you're doing that eight to 12 times a day. It's a tremendous amount of loss for the effort. As the cup went from concept to reality, the Nifty team collaborated with PATH and the company Lairdall, which develops affordable products to help newborns and mothers in low-resource countries. Through this partnership, several hundred of the cups have already been distributed to hospitals in Africa. When it arrives, it will actually come in packs of 50, and it'll come in something like this, 10 to a bag, and one set of instructions. The instructions are basically these, which are pictorial instructions that don't require literacy, that allows a mother to look at the instructions and understand what she's supposed to do and not supposed to do. Associate Professor Christy McKinney says the next step for Nifty Cup is identifying and testing uses to expand its utility. A lot of times these things that we create for low resource settings sort of boomerang back into here to have benefit for us. So I think here in the United States, this is really a cup for infants with breastfeeding difficulties, regardless of what the origin is. In the United States, when babies aren't able to breastfeed, they are often given a bottle, which can lead to nipple confusion and difficulties transitioning back to the breast. Research shows the Nifty Cup can help with that. So there have been a number of studies actually that have found that infants who are cup fed rather than bottle fed in early life transition to breastfeeding at much higher rates than infants who are bottle fed. What began as a tool to help mothers and babies in developing nations can save lives across the world.